Shalom and welcome to YHWHY. We are reading from the Sefer of Sirach, also called Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 1. All wisdom comes from Yahuwah, and is with him forever. Who can number the sand of the seas, and the drops of rain, and the days of eternity? Who can find out the heights of heaven, and the breadth of the earth, and the deep and wisdom? Wisdom has been created before all things, and the understanding of prudence from everlasting Lehlam Fa'ed. The word of El Elyon is the fountain of wisdom, and her ways are everlasting commandments. To whom has the root of wisdom been revealed? Or who has known her wise counsels? Unto whom has the knowledge of wisdom been made manifest? And who has understood her great experience? There is one wise and great to be feared, Yahuwah, Sitting upon his throne, he created her, and saw her, and numbered her, and poured her out upon all his works. She is with all flesh, according to his gift, and he has given her to them that love him. The fear of Yahuwah is honor, and glory, and gladness, and a crown of rejoicing, Simcha. The fear of Yahuwah makes a heart, merry heart, and gives joy and gladness and long life, Kai. Whoso fears Yahuwah, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. To fear Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. She has built an everlasting foundation with men, and she shall continue with their seed. To fear Yahuwah is fullness of wisdom, and fills men with her fruits. She fills all their house with things desirable, and the garners of her increase. The fear of Yahuwah is a crown of chakmah, Wisdom, making peace, shalom, and perfect health to flourish. Both, which are the gifts of Elohim, and it enlarges their rejoicing that love Him. Wisdom rains down skill and knowledge of understanding, and exalts them to honor that holds fast to her. The root of wisdom is to fear Yahuwah, and the branches thereof are long life. The fear of Yahuwah drives away sin, and where it is present, it turns away wrath. A furious man cannot be justified, for the sway of his fury shall be his destruction." A patient man will tear for a time, and afterwards joy shall spring up unto him. He will hide his works for a time, and the lips of many shall declare his wisdom. The parables of knowledge are the treasures of Chatma, wisdom, but the fear of Elohim is abominable to sinners. If you desire wisdom, guard the mitzvot, the commandments, and Yahuwah shall give her unto you. For the fear of Yahuwah is wisdom and instruction, and the faith and meekness are his delight. Distrust not the fear of Yahuwah when you are poor, and come not unto him with a double heart. Be not a hypocrite in the sight of men, and 
Take good heed what you speak. Exalt not yourself, lest you fall, and bring dishonor upon your soul. And so, Elohim, discover your secret, and cast you down in the midst of the assembly, before you came not in truth to f the fear of Yahuwah, but your heart is full of deceit. The Sefer of Serach, Chapter 2 Ben My son, if you come to serve Yahuwah, prepare your soul for temptation. Set your heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and depart not away, that you may be increased at your last end. Whatsoever is brought upon you, take cheerfully, and be patient when you are changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help you. Order your way aright, and trust in him. Ye that fear Yahweh, yud -he wait for his chesed, his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear Yahweh, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear Yahweh, hope for good, and for everlasting joy and mercy, simcha and chesed. Look at the generations of old, and see, did ever any trust in Yahuwah, and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear, and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and pitiful, and forgives sin, and saves in time of affliction. Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands, and the sinner that goes two ways. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believes not, therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what ye will ye do when Yahweh shall visit you? They that fear Yahweh will not disobey his word, and they that love him will guard his ways. They that fear Yahweh will seek that which is well, pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the Torah. They that fear Yahweh will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of Yahuwah, and not into the hands of men, for as his majesty is, so is his chesed, his mercy. Aleph Tav, Sefer of Serach, Chapter 3 Shema! Hear me, O your father, O children, and do therefore, that ye may be safe. For Yahuwah has given the father honor over the children, and has confirmed the authority of the mother over the son. Whoso honors his father makes an atonement for his sins, and he that honors his mother is as one that lays up treasure. Whoso honors his father shall have his joy of his own children, and when he makes his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honors his father shall have a long life, and he that is obedient to Yahuwah shall be a comfort to his mother. He that fears Yahuwah will honor his father, and will do service 
unto his parents and to his masters. Honor thy father and thy mother, both in word and in deed, that a blessing may come upon you from them. For the blessing of the father establishes the house of children, but the curse of the mother roots out foundations. Glory not in the dishonor of your father, for your father's dishonor is no glory unto you. For the glory of man is from the honor of his father, and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children. My son, help your father in his age, and grieve him not as long as he lives. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, and despise him not when you are in your full strength. For the relieving of your father shall not be forgotten, and instead of sins it shall be added to build you up. In the days of your affliction it shall be remembered. Your sins also shall melt away as the ice in the fair warm weather. He that forsakes his father is a blasphemer, and he that angers his mother is cursed of Elohim. My son, go on with your business in meekness, so shall you be beloved of him that is approved. The greater you are, the more humble yourself, and you shall find favor before Yahuwah. Many are in high places and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of Yahuwah is great, and he is honored of the lowly. Seek not out things that are too hard for you, neither search the things that are above your strength, but what is commanded you. Think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for you to seek with your eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto you than men understand. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Without eyes you shall want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that you have not. A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that loves danger shall perish therein. An obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, and a wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. In the punishment of the proud there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness has taken root in him. The heart of the prudent will understand a parable, and an attentive ear is the desire of the wise man. Water will quench a flaming fire, and alms make an atonement for sin, and he that requites Good turns is mindful of that which may come hereafter, and he, when he falls, he shall find a stay. Sefer of Sarach, Chapter 4, Ben My son, defraud not the poor of his living, and make not the needy eyes to wait long. Make not a hungry soul sorrowful, neither provoke a man in his distress. Add not more trouble to a heart that is vexed, and defer not to him, to him that is in need. Reject not the supplication of the afflicted, neither turn away your face from the poor man. Turn not away your eye from the needy, 
and give him none occasion to curse you. For if he curse you in the bitterness of his soul, his prayer shall be heard of him that made him. And get yourself the love of the assembly, and bow your head to a great man. Let it not grieve you to bow down your ear to the poor, and give him a friendly answer with meekness. Deliver him that suffers wrong from the hand of the oppressor, and be not faint-hearted when you sit in judgment. Be as a father unto the fatherless, and instead of a man unto the mo their mother, so shall you be as the son of El Elyon, and he shall love you more than your mother does. Wisdom exalts her children, and lays hold of them that seek her. He that loves her loves life, and they that seek her to her early shall be filled with Simca, joy. He that holds her fast shall inherit glory, and whosoever she enters, Yahweh will bless. They that serve her shall minister unto the Kodesh Echad, Holy One, and them that love her, Yahuwah loves. Whoso gives ear unto her shall judge the nation, and he that attends unto her shall dwell securely. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generations shall hold her in possession. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways, and bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her discipline, until she may trust his soul, and try him by her Torah. Then will she return the straight way unto him, Zadok, and comfort him, and show him her secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him, and give him over to his own ruin. Observe the opportunity, and beware of evil, and be not ashamed when it concerns your soul, for there is a shame that brings sin, and there is a shame which is glory and grace. Accept no person against your soul, and let not the reverence of any man cause you to fall, and refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and hide not your wisdom in her beauty, for by speech wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. In no wise speak against the emet, against the truth, but be abashed of the error of your ignorance. Be not ashamed to confess your sins, and force not the course of the river. Make not yourself an uttering to a foolish man, neither accept the person of the mighty. Strive for the emet, the truth, unto death, and Yahuwah shall fight for you. Be not hasty in your tongue, and in your deeds slack and remiss. Be not as a lion in your house, nor frantic among your servants. Let not your hand be stretched out to receive and shut when you should repay. Sirach, chapter 5. Set your heart upon your goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not your own mind and your strength, to walk in the ways of your heart. And say not, who shall control me 
of my works. For Yahweh will surely revenge your pride. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm has happened unto me? For Yahuwah is long-suffering. He will in no wise let you go. Concerning propitation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And say not his, great, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sin. For mercy and wrath come from him and his indignation rests upon sinners. Make no tarrying to turn to Yahuwah, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahuwah come forth, and in your security you shall be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. Set not your heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit you in the day of calamity. Winnow not with every wind, and go not into every way. For so does the sinner that has a double tongue. Be steadfast in your understanding, and let your word be in the same. Be swift to hear Shema, and let your life be sincere. And with patience give answer, and if you have understanding, answer your neighbor. If not, lay your hands upon your mouth. Honor and shame is in talk, the, and the tongue of man is his fall. Be not called a whisperer, and lie not in wait with your tongue, for a foul shame is upon the thief and an evil condemnation upon the double tongue. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. Sirach 6 Instead of a friend, become not an enemy, for thereby you shall inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that has a double tongue. Extol not yourself in the counsel of your own heart, that your soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. You shall eat up your leaves and loose your fruit and leave yourself as a dry tree. A wicked soul shall destroy him that has it and shall make him to be laughed and scorned of his enemies. Sweet language with a multi of multiply friends, and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. Be in shalom, peace with many. Nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. If you would get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him, for some man is a friend for his own occasion, and will not abide in the day of your trouble. And there is a friend, who being turned to enmity and strife will discover your reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table, and will not continue in the day of your affliction. But in your prosperity he will be as yourself, and will be bold over your servants. If you be brought low, he will be against you, and will hide himself from your face. Separate yourselves from your enemies, and take heed of your friends. A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that has found such one has found a treasure. Nothing countervails a faithful friend, and his 
excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear Yahuwah shall find him. Whoso fears Yahuwah shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. My Ben, my son, gather instructions from your youth up. So shall you find wisdom until your old age. Come unto her as one that plows and sows and waits for her good fruits. For you shall not toil much in laboring about her, but you shall eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her down from him ere it be long. For Chakma, for wisdom, is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel, and put your feet into her fetters, and your neck unto her chains bow down your shoulders, and bear her, and be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with your whole heart, and keep her ways." With all your power, search and seek, and she shall be made known unto you. And when you have gone hold of her, let her not go, for at the last you shall find her rest, and that shall be turned to your joy. Then shall her fetters be strong defense for you, and her chains a robe, a talit of glory, for there is a golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace, and shall put her on as a robe of honor, and shall put her about you as a crown of simca, of joy. My son, if you will, you shall be taught, and if you will apply your mind, you shall be prudent. If you love to shema, if you love to hear, you shall receive understanding. If you bow your ear, you shall be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto her that is wise. Be willing to hear every Kodesh discourse, and let not the parable of understanding escape you. And if you see a man of understanding, get you early unto him, and let your foot wear the steps of his door. Let your mind be upon the ordinances of Yahuwah, and meditate continually in his mitzvot his commandments. He shall establish your heart and give you wisdom at your own desire. Aleph Tav, Serach, Ecclesiastes chapter 7. Do no evil, so shall no harm come unto you. Depart from the unjust, and iniquity shall turn away from you. My son, sow not upon the furrows of unrighteousness, and you shall not reap them sevenfold. Seek not of Yahweh preeminence, neither of the king the seat of honor. Justify not yourself before Yahuwah, and boast not of your wisdom before the king. Seek not to be judge, 
being not able to take away iniquity, lest at any time you fear the person of the mighty, a stumbling block in the way of your uprightness, said darkness. Offend not against the multitude of a city, and then you shall not cast yourself down among the people. Bind not one sin upon another, for in one you shall not be unpunished. Say not Elohim will look upon the multitude of my oblations, and when I offer to El Elyon, he will accept it. Be not faint-hearted when you make your prayer, and neglect not to give alms. Laugh no man to scorn in a bitterness of his soul, for there is one which humbles and exalts. Devise not a lie against your brother, neither do the like of your friend. Use not to make any manner of lie, for the custom thereof is not good. Use not many words in a multitude of elders, and make not much babbling when you pray. Hate not laborious work, neither husbandry, which El Elyon has ordained. Number not yourself among the multitude of sinners, but remember that wrath will not tarry long. Humble yourselves greatly, for the vengeance of the wicked is fire and worms. Change not a friend for any good by no means, neither a faithful brother for the gold of Ophir. Forgo not a wise and good woman, for her grace is above gold. Whereas your servant works truly, entreat him not evil, nor the hireling that bestows himself wholly for you. Let your soul love a good servant, and defraud him not of liberty. Have you cattle? Have an eye to them, and if they be for your profit, keep them with you. Have you children? Instruct them, and bow down their neck from their youth. Have you daughters? Have a care of their body, and show not yourself cheerful towards them. Marry your daughter and so shall you not perform a weighty matter, but give her to a man of understanding. Have you a woman after your mind? Forsake her not, but give not yourself over to a light woman. Honor your father and you with your whole heart, and forget not the sorrow of your mother. Remember that you were begotten of them, and how can you re recompense them the things that they have done for you? Fear Yahuwah with all your soul, and reverence his priests, his Kohanim. Love him that made you with all your strength, and forsake not his ministers. Fear Yahuwah and honor his Kohanim, and give him his portion. It is commanded you, the first fruits and the transgression offering, and the gifts of the shoulders, and the sacrifice of sanctification, and the first fruits of the Kodesh things, and stretch your hands unto the poor, that your blessing may be perfected. A gift has chesed grace in the sight of every man living, and for a dead, for the dead detain not. Fail not to be with them that weep, and mourn with them that mourn. Be not slow to visit the sick, for that shall make you to be beloved. Whatsoever you take in hand, 
remember the end, and you shall never do amiss. Sefer of Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Strive not with a mighty man, lest you fall into his hands. Be not at variance with a rich man, lest he overweigh you. For gold has destroyed many, and perverted the hearts of kings. Strive not with a man that is full of tongue, and heap not wood upon his fire. Jest not with a rude man, lest your ancestors be disgraced. Reproach not a man that turns from sin, but remember that we are worthy of punishment. Dishonor not a man in his old age, for even some of us wax old. Rejoice not over your greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we die all. Despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint yourselves with their proverbs, for of them you shall learn Torah, and how to serve great men with ease? Miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learned of their fathers, and of them you shall learn understanding, and to give answer as need requires. Kindle not the coals of a sinner, lest you be burnt with the flames for his fire. Rise not up in anger, at the presence of an injurious person, lest he lie in wait to entrap you in your words. Lend not unto him that is mightier than yourself, for if you lend him, count it be loss. Be not surety above your power, for if you be surety, take care to pay it. Go not to law with a judge, for they will judge him for him according to his honor. Travel not by the way with a bold fellow, lest he become grievous unto you, for he will do according to his own will, and you shall perish with him through his folly. Strive not with an angry man and go not with him into a solitary place, for blood is as nothing in his sight, and where you, where there is no help, he will overthrow you. Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. Do no secret thing before a stranger, for you know not what he will bring forth. Open not your heart to every man, lest he requite you with a shrewd turn. Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 9. Be not jealous over the woman of your bosom, and teach her not an evil lesson against yourself. Give not your soul unto a woman to set her foot upon your substance. Meet not with a harlot, lest you fall into her snare. Use not much to not much the company of a woman that is a singer, lest you be taken with her attempts. Gaze not on a maid, that you fall not by those things that are precious in her. Give not your soul unto harlots, and you lose not your inheritance. Look not round about you in the streets of the city, neither wander in the solitary place thereof. Turn away your eye from the beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty. For Many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman, and wherewith love is kindled 
as a fire, sit not at all with another man's woman, nor sit down with her in your arms, and spend not your money with her at the wine, lest your heart be inclined unto her, and so through your desire you fall into destruction. Forsake not an old friend, for the new is not compared to him. A new friend is as new wine. When it is old, you shall drink it with pleasure. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for you shall not know what shall be his end. Delight not in the things that the wicked have pleasure in, but remember, they shall not go unpunished unto their grave. Keep far from the man that has power to kill, so shall you not doubt the fear of death. And if you come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away your life presently. Remember that you go in the midst of snares, and that you walk upon the battlements of the city. As near as you can, guess at your neighbor, and counsel with the wise. Let your talk be with the wise, and all your communications in the Torah of El Elyon, and let just men eat and drink with you, and let your glorying be in the fear of Yudhevavhe, of Yahuwah, and for the hand of the Antisipher, the work shall be commended, and the wise ruler of the people for his speech. A man of an ill tongue is dangerous in the city, and he that is rash in his talk shall be hated. Eliftav Serach Ecclesiasticus Chapter 10 A wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of the prudent man is well ordered, as the judge of the people of himself. So are his officers, and what manner of a man that ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And an unwise king destroys his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahuwah, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. In the hand of Elohim is the prosperity of a man, and upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honor. Bear not hatred to your neighbor for every wrong, and do nothing at all by injurious practices. Pride is hateful before Elohim and man, and by both does one commit iniquity. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Why is the earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man, for such one sets his own soul to sail because while he lives, he casts away his bowels. The physician cuts off a long disease, and he that is today a king tomorrow shall die. For when a man is dead, he shall inherit creeping things, beasts, and worms. The beginning of pride is when one departs, from Elohim, and his heart is turned away from his Maker, for pride 
is the beginning of sin. He that has it shall pour out abomination. And therefore Yahweh brought upon them strange calamity, and overthrew them utterly. Yahuwah has cast down the thrones of the proud princes, and set up the meek in their stead. Yahuwah has plucked up the roots of the proud nation, and planted the lowly in their place. Yahuwah overthrew countries of the heathen, and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. He took some of them away and destroyed them, and has made their memorial to cease from the earth. Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. They that fear Yahuwah are a sure seed, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the Torah are a dishonorable seed. They that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed. Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So they that fear Yahuwah in his eyes, the fear of Yahuwah goes before the obtaining of authority. But roughness and pride is the losing thereof. Where, whether he be rich, noble, or poor, their glory is the fear of Yahuwah. And it is not, not meet to despise the poor man that has understanding. Neither is it convenient to magnify a sinful man. Great men and judges and potentates shall be honored, yet is there none of them greater than he that fears Yahuwah? Unto the servant that is wise shall they that are free do service, and he that has knowledge will not grudge when he is reformed. Be not overwise in doing your business, and boast not yourselves in the time of your distress. Better is he that labors, and abounds in all things, that he that boasts in himself, and wants bread. My son, glorify your soul in meekness, and give it honor according to the dignity thereof. Who will justify him that sins against his own soul? And who will honor him that dishonors his own life? The poor man is honored for his skill, and the rich man is honored for his riches. He that is honored in poverty, how much more in riches? And he that is dishonorable in riches, how much more in poverty.